loss of the dream or the need to dream anew. When you fall out of love, you do not trip. You do not stumble like Mary J. Blige. It is never an accident you run into because you cannot fall out of something you snuck into to begin with. There is no heartbreak or broken bones or baby, baby, wasn't it Wallace who said everything that I've ever let go of had claw marks on it? You think you are the only one committing double-think atrocities in every heart chamber you've ever been let into, or dropping I love yous like gum wrappers around you and still thinking you weren't ruining someone's view. To say I love you, you need to give and take in equal measure something you're not sure you ever had. To say I do not love you, you need to let go of something you're not sure you ever had. Because the dreams you dreamt with that person on that pillow Head side by side, pinkies woven together like a tapestry, legs slung, covers blown, guards down. Those dreams were eternity. And eternity is hard to let go of, especially now. When you are clutching at your skin, at cotton, hoping for nerve damage alone. That is the hardest fist to unclench. Because to imagine there are other dreams is not a human capability. It is why we drag things into the depths with us. Because pain closes the doors of our imaginations brutally and leaves us throwing our bodies against the broken shards of loss over and over again like a firefly looking for light on the other side of a brick wall. We cannot imagine all the things we deserve before they have come to us. Women I know have told me that there is no fault to loving too deeply and loving again. Sometimes it is in the attempt that you learn which scars haven't healed. And scars heal slowly because living hurts. And you should remember what it felt like to grow together after somebody tore you apart. The thick casing of yourself pricking so delicately with every hangnail memory, every raised ridge of skin, woman. Your hackles raised, you exist as proof that you have survived everything that has ever been thrown at you, woman. You bear scars like children, like excruciating, tender, aching faith. You hope they will help you back and teach you something. So I ask you, what is heal at 25 when I'm reveling in the break of things? When I lean so astonishingly hard into my trust that there's no stranger who would believe my tenacity when thieves still make for better lovers than partners do. My belief in humanity ruins me. My belief in humanity ruins me. It leaves me carcinogens at night to stay awake with while I contemplate what it means when Adrian Rich told me to love intelligence. Right now, the oversweet melting of caramel on my tongue reminds me of your residue, of all the little hangnails we leave with those we once loved. Of those, our cohabitating dreams are the hardest hangnail to let go of. I had to carve, thank you, I'm sorry, into the marrow of my lover's bones to get them to leave. I had to accept the burn marks I would leave on their skins. I had to stoke the fire and become the magic, walk off the cliff and into the belly of my deepest fears and then survive. I had to choose to love, this time, for once, with all my intelligence, and by doing so, let go and dream anew.